and welcome to Purple Wednesdays. I'm Catherine. And I'm Michaela. And we're here to keep you up to date with all the latest news about our clubs and the fantastic events we have coming up this year. RGU are continuing on their fine form after week two of fixtures, including wins against our AU rivals. Both men's and women's basketball teams recorded triumphant victories over the Granite City rivals. The boys, who were clear favourites from the start in their Scottish Cup tie, ended the game 69-72 while the girls fought back after half-time to win the game with 20 seconds to go. Swimming and water polo also found themselves up against AU this week, with a midweek draw in a swimming match. The team were keen to leave their mark during their annual Granite City Polo Cup, with the women beating AU and coming second overall, and men coming third. As well as that, they made a cracking start on this year's fundraising. Keep it up, guys! There has also been big wins for squash, winning all four matches this weekend. Big shout out to Greg Stewart, who hasn't lost a single Bucks match in four years. Volleyball men also won this week with an impressive 3-0 victory over Napier. GAA women won Division 1 and came second in Division 2 at their sevens competition in Stirling, with the men also doing really well overall. Great job so far from all the clubs. Now it's time for our star of the week, who scored an impressive 17 points in the third quarter of this week's basketball game. It's over to Mikey with our winner now. Thanks, Catherine. Uh, now I'm here with Jeb, captain of the basketball team. Uh, hey, how does it feel to be star of the week? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Um, it was a goal uh, for me for quite a while now, ever since Purple Wednesday started. So it feels pretty good to achieve that goal so I can move forward now and hopefully become wow. star of the week again in the future. Star of the week twice, wow. That's pretty ambitious, great. Um, so 17 points in the third quarter, that is very impressive. Uh, how did you, what changed? Uh, I felt going into the second half, uh, we had a really good team talk at the half. Um, seemed like the energy really picked up. Um, and in the halftime warm up, I didn't miss a shot at all as well. So that kind of boosted my confidence. And then it really, really helped me increase my killer instinct for going into the okay. second half against the AU and just uh, defeating them like we did. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, don't leave it late till next time. All right. Uh, thanks, Jeb. Back to you, Catherine. Thanks, Mikey, and well done to Jeb. So, Kat, what's happening with Oktoberfest? Next week, we have the greatly anticipated fundraiser, RGU Fancy Dress Oktoberfest. There's lots of great prizes to be won, including a blues ball ticket. So keep buying your tickets from your club president, and remember, every little helps. It's got even bigger this year, so it's definitely not one to be missed. Even though you're not going to be here. I'm sorry, I'll be there in spirit, okay? Well, that's all we've got time for. Good luck to all those in purple today. And we'll see you all in Institute tonight. Bye! Bye.